Hello, this is Nonzo and on this video we'll be doing the electrical. So right here, um just taking off the the plywood that is on the wall. Um also if you see Nestor, I have like three stuff uh sheet of paper that tells me my layout and what I need to do. So I took off the you know uh the plywood so that, that helps me like um I prefer to run the 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 Romax uh, behind you know it can also be done in the front with a conduit um, whichever but again I'm not a licensed electrician so I'm just doing how I you know over the time through the tree I've been you know did a couple stuff so here because I want to run it on the tray so I'm using um I'm doing a pilot hole um, to make a hole on the stud, the metal stud, then I run it um, through that, then make a hole also on the plywood. On the, it, it all has to do with again, it all has to do with how many outlets that is needed. Uh, but I know definitely you're not allowed to use um, you're not allowed to use um. um extension cord so you're not allowed to use a extension cord so you might as well put enough enough um outlets on the truck so that uh, you don't have to go through all that and also each will have um probably i'm gonna use the panel i'm gonna have um 215 amp breaker on it maybe one we do not sure but again, I'm doing how I knew. So now here I'm I'm putting back the she rock again, uh, the plywood again. So on this part, you know, I'm cleaning out. You know, again I use the truck. I store a lot of stuff in there while I'm doing it. If you actually watch on this video, um, the ceiling, you know, was already done. I did the insulation on it. Um, but that will be a separate video which I'm gonna post uh, showing how that was done. I'll probably, the video is probably, I'm not sure. I think it goes with the FRP, I'm not sure. So right here, just clean it out so I could do um, other stuff on the, on the trailer. So a lot of cleaning, a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of wood, there's a lot of plywood, there is some, a lot of supporting stuff there's a screws there's uh nails there's staples there's a lot that is on it that has to be taken out cleaned out prepped uh more of a you know a lot of prepping you know so before anything could be done so that when either if you're gluing or or, or screwing the uh either the stainless steel or the frp whatever you want to use on the wall you know it has to adhere it has to also be flat surface as much as possible some people are going to do some people even sand it but i didn't do that all i did was just clean clean vacuum then these vacuums that i'm using is the one from home depot you just buy the top uh, i think i paid like 15 dollars or 10 dollars then use any bottom any of these uh, five gallon um on it paint one any five gallon use it you know that's what i do i do have a bigger one but i didn't i didn't know where it was so i just grabbed this because i needed to do cleaning then again like i mentioned i will have also another video where i will show um all the material all the the what was posted on that plywood you know what is needed for each truck so now I already ran the, I did use, uh, um, I think I used um, the Romex I was using those were for the, you know, well, those were the regular, uh, those were 14.2 that I used. Then this is the power cable, which is, um, I think is an, eight two so i ran in i'm gonna do this you know so 
and also the video was done um these two were done the same day but you find out the rest some of these i did them depending on what i'm you know where i am I'm, i did them all separate uh, because now that it's all tied in on this part for me to do the outlet because the outlet has to be outside i have to install the frp first before i do the outlet because i can't like i have to either the, you know, the material the finished material so but again we're here talking about the electrical so i'm just showing how the electrical you know got done um, this is the outlet. I do have. I did put in on the. I put in um two four five. I put in like five outlet on each side. Yeah, five outlet on each side. Space them so that depending on where the. Depending on where the you know fridge or whatever you're gonna use the prep table or the uh, if you're gonna use a hood, so it will be easily accessible. Remember, like I mentioned before, extension wires are not allowed in these you know um, in these trucks. So you cannot just maybe because maybe you're, you know you have a a, um, a griddle that is like this is a 16 foot trailer you have a griddle that is like maybe in the front of it then so that means you have to the wires are probably maybe like three feet or six so you can't if the if the you know is on the other side so that's what it is then here i'm running the part the um, the service box that um where i tied in the two uh, basically two home run that i have is I have two home run that runs in there. Then then I use 215 amp uh, for those two home run. That should be enough. Everything I'm having in here is all basically nothing. LED, the, the, the lights are gonna be LED. I have an outside light, everything LED. You know, you're looking at maybe, you know, whatever, six wax or two wax or whatever you calculated those i could calculate you know easily um then i could also if you need the sheet i could show you the sheet of you know how to calculate all those to get uh, you know to understand how much power or what you need on it then that's where that is so right here i'm doing uh putting like i said i have to have the frp that is the final wall out there before i could put those uh, before I could put the panel, the switches, all those, you know, if I could put them. So, right, it's kind of a rough, rough. And again, according to our CD, which I'm going to post again, if you're going to do one of these, you go talk to them. You'll be surprised the information you're going to get from them. So, we are not required to have an electrician or a plumber do it but they recommend an electrician and a plumber no they is only the gas let me rephrase we're not required is is the gas um or maybe i'm not but regardless get an you know electrician a plumber a gas a plumber you know to go over whatever you're doing or hire one to do this for you you know when they you know so that I make sure everything is right so and that's the service panel you know i think yeah, just making sure everything works fine um then i i'm gonna have a view, overview of it And like I mentioned before, on this part, I do have another video where I will, I, you know, I will show how the FRP and uh, the FRP is a white, is a, it's like a plastic, it's a non porosive you know, it sells a whole um, So now I'm showing how that stands, you know, the wiring, how I tied it, 
how everything comes out on the wall um i have a divider so that's where we are now so i'm gonna have another video posted like uh, in a day or two showing you know how the top the floor everything was done And some of these wires uh, that run behind it comes with the truck there for the lights and that's it thank you this is nonzo